Okay, reverse lunge to row. Same as all the other rowing ones apart from the step up. Same band, same position, same height, okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my knee position correct as in the same as when we did the static lunge, yeah? So going into a kneeling position with my knee below my hip, so I know that's a correct position, okay. The difference is now, when I come up, I'm gonna come up, I'll do it slowly to begin with, and I'm gonna lift my knee up to the front, okay? I'm not gonna lean forward, I'm gonna lean back, and then I'm gonna perform my row, elbows back, shoulders together, back and down, okay? Release my arms, drop down, up, row. Release, down, up, row. Yeah. So the knee isn't touching the floor as I come down. And as I do the row, shoulder blades together and down. Okay. It's worth, it's worth having, we'd call them a pregnant pause in the army, but like a little pregnant pause at the end. I don't know what you call it in the fitness world. Just, and then release and go. Yeah. Because then you're stabilising, stabilising. It's a dynamic movement, followed by a stabilise. Very good for injury prevention. Okay? Sweating. The next question on. Okay. If you follow the squat to rows, you know what's coming, and the static clutch to rows. We're going to do it all at once. Yeah? So we're going to come up and row. Shoulder blades together down. Drop, up, and row. Yeah, so we're now combining the two movements. Okay, and then we can progress it one more time. Two hands, uh, two hands, one hand, two bands. I can't talk to them now. So I've got both bands in my right arm, which means my right leg's going back which means my left hand is on my left hip. So now, when I come up, I'm gonna come up, do a single arm row. Still, because I've got my hand on my hip, I can still squeeze and push my shoulder blades down. Does that make sense? So now I come out, I release the arm, I come up and I squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. And now, you know, you're working a lot, similar to the static lunge, you're working a lot more glute, uh, mead activity as well. And hold at the end, because then you stabilise on this left hip. And the band's pulling you this way. And the hip's trying to stabilise. So it's very good for hip stability, along with everything else that it's good for. Okay, and that's the final progression in that series of exercises. I think there's three, six, nine. I think there's nine in that, in that series. But yeah, they're good and they're worth working through and they're worth getting to the end of. Um, and that's it. That's uh, the full progression.